Hello, my name is Mohamed Atif, and I would like to introduce to you a new course, which is Learn Kali Linux and Hack Android Mobile Devices. Now, the introduction will cover the following point. I'm going to give a brief about myself. We're going to talk about the scope of this course, then the course content, and the flow of this course, how can you get the best of this course, and then finally, what is different in this course than other ethical hacking course. Let me start with a brief about myself. As I mentioned, my name is Mohamed Atif. I'm a security consultant. I have been working in security since around 20 years now, mainly in information security, penetration testing, security architecture, security analyst. And I work, I hold a lot of professional certificate uh, from different vendor, from IC Square, from Easy Council. Besides, I'm a certified instructor from Easy Council, from Microsoft, from Cisco. And I did work with some big names in the, uh, in the field, like IBM or Cleveland Clinic or uh, some of the Ministry of Interior worldwide. Also, I work with law enforcement uh, in the field of information security and penetration testing. I have many courses published on Udemy. Uh, some of them are bestseller, like Ethical Hacking from Scratch to Advanced Technique. It's a bestseller course. Or Certified Information System Security Professional, Exam Preparation. And finally, uh, about myself, I was able to help a lot of students to uh, clear their professional exam in different area, in CISSP and CH. So, I believe I can help you gaining the right skills for ethical hacking and penetration testing. Now let's talk about the scope of this course. Most of the ethical hacking course, the online or even the uh, instructor led courses are focusing on Windows and Linux platform. So if you check online, most of the ethical hacking course, they give or it, they are focusing on how to compromise a computer or a network that run a Windows or Linux platform. And this is good actually, except right now, if you think about it, we start sw switching to mobile devices. So everyone has a smartphone right now or a, a tablet that hold all the critical information that we used to keep on our PC. So now you're going to see that on your smartphone, you have all your email, you have all your contact, all your messages, everything. And on smartphone or tablet, we don't have the same security layers that we do have on PC and computers. So think about it. If you are an organization and you have a network that consists of many computers, you can provide many security layers. You can have antivirus on the machine and you can have a firewall, you can have IDS. So it will be hard to compromise. But on another hand, most of your employee are setting up their mobile device to be able to receive email on their mobile or to, to, to save important information on their mobile. While on the mobile platform, we do not have the same security layer. Actually, most people do not have even an antivirus on their mobile, which makes the mobile much more easier to compromise and much more easier to hack than the computer and personal PC. And I searched for a while, but I was not able to find any courses covering this area, how the smartphone can be compromised. And it's quite easy. And by just doing a small search online, regarding the weakness in Android, because our course will focus on Android, not Apple iOS. I'm working now on Apple iOS, but I didn't finish the curriculum yet. So the, this course will focus on Android iOS weakness. So by doing a small search, sorry, in uh, any uh, public vulnerability website and search for Android vulnerability, you'll find many, many vulnerability inside Android. Some of them are related to Android. Some of them are related to application into Android, like WhatsApp and so on. So what I'm trying to see, what I'm trying to say, that 
Compromising an Android device could be a smartphone or a tablet. It's much more easier and it will get you the same result that you were doing that you're planned to do if you need to compromise a computer. So a lot of people start switching from compromising a computer to compromising a smartphone or any Android device. So the objective of this course is to show as a penetration tester for any organization that you should have a rule and a policy related to uh, the usage, uh, usage of uh, Android device in their organization. Should we allow employee in our organization to use their Android device to receive the company email and to save the critical information? Is it safe or it can be compromised? So in any way, this should not be done in a malicious way or it should not be done in in a legal way. This course, it's only for legal and authorized penetration testing, but not for computer, for Android device. The course cover few sections. First one, we're gonna talk about penetration testing. What is the objective of penetration testing and what product we will be using? Mainly you're gonna use Kali Linux. And I'm gonna start in Kali Linux from scratch. So it doesn't matter if you don't have any experience with Kali. I'm going to show you how to install it, how, how to download it and install it and set up Kali Linux and start using the major tool inside. Now, this is not a Kali Linux course. The topic that I'm covering related to Kali Linux is the introduction, how to install it, and I'm explaining the tools that will be used for hacking Android. So it's not a full Kali Linux hack. But I'm going to add a lot of resources and I'm going to provide my full support if anyone need more information about Kali Linux or anything related to Kali Linux, I'll be supporting them. Second section, I'm going to explain the, or I'm going to demonstrate how to set up your lab. To get the best of this course, you have to do everything practically. Do not just watch my videos and say, yes, it's fine. You have to set up a lab, have the proper equipment, the proper platform, and then you can start uh, testing whatever I'm doing. Then third section is talking about the important tools. Kali Linux is filled of penetration testing tool. We will not cover all of them. This will need a couple of courses. We're going to take the major tools that we need for Android penetration or Android hacking. Then I'm going to talk about exploitation. This is a separate subject or a separate section where I'm going to explain how to search for a weakness, how to get advantage from this weakness, uh, how to search for an Android weakness or even Windows weakness, and then how to get advantage or to compromise the system using this weakness. The next section, we will be talking about hacking Android devices. I'm going to show you different way to hack Android devices. We're going to use some regular technique. We're going to use some vulnerabilities that has been recently found, and I'm going to show you not those specific attack because you're going to cover maybe five six attack but the point here is not those specific attack it's how to search for a vulnerability and get used to it maybe tomorrow a new vulnerability will be published now how can i utilize that to compromise this so it's more about the technique not the tool then we're going to talk about social engineering this is not a technical uh, section this is showing you how easy it is to manipulate manipulate people on, that using that are using android device i can spoof an email i can send them an email showing that it's coming from someone else i can spoof uh, sms i can spoof phone call we're going to demonstrate everything and by using social engineering techniques that we're going to explain you can implement whatever attack in the other section but one more time this is to be used for privacy setting for privacy and the most important point, it should be used in an ethical, authorized way after getting the right approval. This tool that we are using is considered in many countries illegal. So if you try to misuse that, you take full responsibility about that. And finally, we're going to talk about hacking using Android device. 
how can I hack a system with an Android device? So you can consider that we have two subjects here. Don't get confused. First one is about hacking Android device, how to compromise a smartphone or a tablet. Second one, what if you are sitting somewhere and you have an Android device and you need to monitor the network or hack the network? Can I hack network using or other devices using Android device? So you're going to see some tools that allow you to do that. Uh, the flow of the course, as I was saying, that you need to have the lab, the, the proper lab, and I will guide you how to do that. It's an easy lab. And also, you need to have an Android device, and we're going to talk about that in a different lecture, and you should not use your own smartphone for this course. I'm repeating, you should not use your own smartphone for this course because your own smartphone where you are keeping all your con contact and messages and email there is no guarantee that while you are doing that the phone will not be crashed or you maybe lose information so have a cheap device dedicated for this course i'm going to talk about that in uh, uh, another lecture in uh, during this course finally what is different in this course i believe there is some difference that worth mentioning Number one, I was not able till now to find uh, a course that focus on Android hacking. And uh, there is few actually, but they are talking about and hacking devices using Android or maybe some uh, application hacking. But I was not able to find something related to my objective, which is having a full penetration testing about Android platform that I noticed that the Android platform keep getting increasing and keep uh, uh, widely increased while it doesn't have a security, almost. So it's very, very easy to compromise. So when you go through this course, definitely you will be more careful. You will not blindly trust email or trust mobile call or trust SMS because everything can be spoofed. You will never download any application from any place besides the proper place and even the proper place it can be manipulated as well as we're going to see so your 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 vision will change your your view or your security concept will change when it comes to the uh, android devices number two this will be a dynamic course like most of the my previous course i did create that maybe it has now six or seven section but whenever any new vulnerability related to android will be published i will check this vulnerability and i'm going to make a lecture about it so you will keep getting updated with all the vulnerability in android and finally is the promise that i support to provide to you uh, during the course so i'll support you with a lot of material i'll support you with any technical feedback and i'll be there for any question and people who who enrolled in any of my courses they know you know that i'm, I'm keeping my word when it comes to support. Finally, this course doesn't have a uh, professional exam like the other course I published, but I believe uh, from the technical perspective, you'll get some new skills related to Android and you're gonna give some focus to a new platform that I believe it become widely used and security is not considered uh, in this field. So, I hope this course will be useful for you. Uh, feel free to contact me if you have any question or you need any other resources. And best of luck.